ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Muli namin kayong iniimbitahan for another season of teaching and learning. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition when we reveal a new K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Yeshua is a BS Statistics student at UP Diliman. She loves physical activities and sports, but also loves sleeping. Her top artist on Spotify for 2023 is Keshi. Sunod naman, Ain is a student of UP Diliman taking BS Family Life and Child Development. He also enjoys watching movies and doing arts and crafts during his free time. Although he is an introvert, he still makes time to go out. Up next, we have Ansel. Ansel is a senior in UP but remains a freshie at heart. He studies sports science and his hobbies include reading trash manga or manhwa and playing games. If he had to list one thing he's good at, he'd say arm wrestling. And finally, we have Ayen. Ayen is a second-year student in UP Diliman studying Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology. She loves to travel and she is hoping to travel the wonders of the world before she reaches the age of 35. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Next, we have Professor Glessi Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Ben Vallejo of the UP Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin! Let's begin. Question number one. Opening in 1995, what 25 hectare theme park can you find in the city of Santa Rosa Laguna? Ayan. Enchanted Kingdom. Enchanted Kingdom is correct. Key check. Ano ang favorite ride mo doon? Uh, yung Space Shuttle. Space Shuttle. Kaya rin lahat nakapunta na doon? Okay. Sige, pupunta tayo doon ulit. Okay. <laughs> Next question, number two. In what Olympic sport are there events, butterfly, freestyle, and backstroke? Uh, Ayan. Swimming. Swimming is correct. Hey, check. Question number three. What three-letter word refers to water below zero degrees Celsius? Uh, In. Ice. Ice is correct. Hey, check. Question number four. What princess turned into an ogre in the animated movie Shrek. Uh, Ayan. Princess Fiona. Princess Fiona or Fiona is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In what country can you find remnants of more than 20,000 kilometer long Great Wall? Uh, Yeshua. China. China is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What Spanish term that may be translated to good night refers to the Christmas Eve feast that begins at midnight? Noche buenas. Buenas noches. Noche buenas. Okay, unfortunately, Ain, I couldn't accept your answer because you answered before I acknowledged your name. So I need to read the question again. Question number six is what Spanish term? Ayan. Noche buena. Okay, let me proceed with the question. What Spanish term may be translated to good night refers to the Christmas Eve feast that begins at midnight? Uh, Your answer is no. He, she already <laughs> buzzed in. The answer of Ayan is Noche buena. That is correct. K okay, check. Question number seven. Budapest is the capital city of what European country? Uh, in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is Malé. Anyone can steal. 
The correct answer is Hungary. Question number 8. Who was elected vice president during the 2016 Philippine presidential elections? Yeshua. Vice President Lenny Robredo. Lenny Robredo or Leonor Lenny Robredo is correct. Key check. Question number 9. In elementary math, what is half of the product of 12 and 10? Ansel. 60. 60 is correct. Key check. So, lahat po sila ay may points na at this moment. Question number 10. Which capital of the UK hosted the 2012 Summer Olympic? Ansel. England. England is mali. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is London. Yes, London. Dun tumugtog ang Spice Girls. Naabutan nyo ba sila? Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> okay. Dun sila nag-reunion. Okay, question number 11. What is the official currency of Japan? Ayan. Yen. Yen is correct. Hey, check. Ayan for yen. Okay. Last question for this round, number 12. What television game show was hosted by Richard Dawson during the 1970s and 1980s and now has Ding Dong Dantes as our local game master? Ayan. Family Feud. Family Feud is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. Let's have a quick recap of their scores. Leading at this point is Ayan with 60 points. Followed by Yeshua with 20 points. Ain and Ansel tied with 10 points. Congratulations! So, bago tayo magpatuloy, ang ginagawa natin usually dito sa K-Check ay kinikilala natin yung mga contestants. So, sisimula natin sa'yo, Yeshua. Yeshua, your Miss Universe question for today is, alin ang mas matimbang sa'yo? Ang sports or ang sleeping and why? Kailangan po ba one answer lang? Kailangan po one answer lang. Um, ah, sige, ito pa, bago mo sagutin. Ano ang statistics mo sa dalawang bagay nito? <laughs> Siguro po for me, it will be 70% sleep and 30% uh, physical activities or sports kasi I think that rest is very important and doon ko talaga nakuha yung energy ko for my physical activities. Yun. Tama nga naman. Paano ka magkakapag-physical activity kung pagod ka? Yeah. Thank you so much, Yeshua. Ngayon naman, tanongin naman natin si Ain. So si Ain ay isang self-confessed introvert na lumalabas naman daw once in a while. Ano ba ang maaaring hindi alam ng mga tao sa mga introverts? Hindi ko kasi po yung for introverts, akala nila hindi nagsasalita. Yun po, very shy. Um, I think po naman, pag comfortable ka na sa tao, magiging madaldal ka na. So kung sa close friends mo, even though introvert ako, um, madal na ako sa kanila. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Ain, for sharing that. Ha? So, kung mga friends tayo ng introvert, kapag lagi kang kinakausap, ibig sabihin, may closeness na kayo. Okay. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Mamaya kakausapin din natin yung ibang contestants. So, we are now midway in the competition at susunod na ang round two. Lahat ng yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo ng ating mga contestants. Leading sa atin ay si Ayan with 60 points, followed by Yeshua with 20 points, at tied naman with 10 points each, si Ain at Ansel. Okay, tuloy natin yung kwentuhan natin, si Ansel naman. What do you mean when you say you are a fourth-year student but still remain a freshie at heart? Fourth year ako, physically, but mentally, I'm a freshie. Uh, it starts with... You know how th there has been a pandemic uh, in 2020? Yes. I'm actually the, the batch that the pandemic started with. So right. I'm a batch 2020 student now for, uh, needing my fourth year in this uh, university. So wala kayong campus like for about two years more? Yes. Tama. Okay. So I guess the whole batch, no? Parang ganyan yung feeling. Nag-wonder din kayo. Mm -hmm. Akala nyo lugar yung TPA? <laughs> 
Hindi <laughs> naman. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat sa Ansel. Si Ayan naman. Bakit may tanning ang travels mo at dapat makita mo na ang buong mundo before the age of 35? Ano pang meron after that? Para fresh po tignan sa picture. <laughs> Para young, young at pictures pa rin po tayo na ipopost sa Instagram, di ba? Ilang taon ka ba ngayon, Ayan? Ah, uh, 20 po. Ah, uh, 20. Pero pa rin po ang 18. <laughs> <laughs> so, meron ka pang ano, 15 years yes. pa para magliwaliw sa buong mundo. Okay, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat sa pag-share ng inyong mga storya. And now, it's time for round 2. So, concentrate, strategize, and go for those points. Correct answers are 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. Which English playwright wrote the comedy The Merchant of Venice? Ansel. Shakespeare? Shakespeare or William Shakespeare is correct. Key check. Question number two. Which Ilonggo reformist founded the newspaper La Solidaridad in Barcelona, Spain? Yeshua. Jose Rizal. Jose Rizal is mali. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Graciano Lopez Haina. Question number three. What plant of the nightshade family is widely cultivated in the Ilocos region and whose leaves are dried and processed to make cigars and cigarettes? Taba Ansel. Tobacco. Tobacco is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Which gray or green-skinned superhero out of Marvel Comics? Yes, Yeshua. Hulk. Hulk. Let me proceed with a question. Marvel Comics was originally Robert Bruce Banner overdosing on gamma radiation. Hulk or Hulk or the Incredible Hulk is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. What is the measure of the quality of gold expressed as a number up to 24? In. Carat. Carat is correct. Okay, check. Question number six, in music. Of the four standard voices, what is the highest pitched male voice? Ansel. Falsetto. Falsetto is mali. Yeshua. Tenor. Tenor is correct. Kiche. Question number seven. What large South American country is the largest producer of coffee in the world? More than 2 million tons a year. The correct answer is Brazil. Now you know. <laughs> Question number 8 in math. What do you call the figure formed when two rays meet at a common point called a vertex? Ansel. Point. Point is Malek. Anyone can steal. Okay, ayan. Intersection. Intersection is mali. Anyone can still steal. Okay, the correct answer is angle. One of the most common fears is ophidiophobia, which is the morbid fear of what reptile? Ansel. Spiders. Spiders is mali. Anyone? Pwede ba mag-steal? The correct answer is snake. Question number 10. What term for a top official in the Imperial Chinese bureaucracy is also the name of the most widely spoken form of the Chinese language? Correct answer is Mandarin. Question number 11. Which great French military leader and statesman is the title role that Joaquin Phoenix plays in the 2023 film by Ridley Scott? Ansel. Napoleon. 
Napoleon. Napoleon is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What do you call a piece of land that is almost entirely surrounded by water but is connected? Yes, what? Archipelago. Archipelago is mali. Let me continue with the question. Surrounded by water but is connected to the mainland on one side, just like Zamboanga or Bataan. In. Peninsula. Peninsula is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. Points three kapu tayo after that round. Tied with 50 points each, si Ain at si Ayan. And tied at second place with 40 points each, si Yeshua at si Ansel. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next. Here on Okay Check. Welcome back, everyone. Point three kapuna tayo after that round. We have Ayan and Ain tied with 50 points each. And then we have Yeshua tied with Ansel with 40 points each. Congratulations. But of course, the race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember sa ating panel of experts magagaling ang mga katanungan. The end of this round will reveal our daily winner. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Good luck, and let's begin. Our first question will come from Sir Neil. World history. Ano ang civilization nagtaguyod ng kaisipan, immortality o immortalidad sa pagpapatakbo ng isang lipunan? A. Egypto B. Grecia C. Mesopotamia D. Roma E. Turkong Ottoman Ansel C. Mesopotamia Bale Ayan uh, B. Grecia Bale In um, A. Egypto Tawag sa kanila mga pinuno ay pharaoh Ang mga ginawang pyramid para sa kanila mga pharaoh ay ang ganap na patutuo para sa kaisipang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Egypto, K-check. Thank you. Prof. Lessie, go ahead. Okay, ang susunod na tanong, ano ang anit sa English? Letter A, hair. Letter B, head. Letter C, ears. Letter D, scalp. Letter E? Yeshua. Letter D, scalp. The correct answer is letter D, scalp. K-check. Next, Prof. Ben, go ahead. Question is on geography. What is the largest sandy desert on Earth? A. Gobi B. Great Australian C. Taklamakan D. Sahara and E. Patagonian Yes, what? Letter D. Sahara If that is correct, the correct answer is Sahara. It means big sandy desert. Talking back to you. World history ulit. Which treaty marked the end of World War II in Asia? A. Treaty of Kanagawa B. Treaty of Paris C. Treaty of San Francisco D. Treaty of Tokyo E. Treaty of Vladivostok Ayan. B. Treaty of Paris Bale. Nagbigay daan ang tratadong ito sa paghina ng kapangyarihang imperial ng Japan. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Treaty of San Francisco. Thank you. Prof. Leslie, go ahead. Okay. Sa usapang dance. What is the popular name of this popular dance which uses coconut shells and skillful body coordination? Letter A, maglalatik. Letter B, maglalaba. Letter C, magtutulak. Letter D, magpuputik. And letter E, mag-iitik. 
Yes, Roa. Letter A, maglalatik. The correct answer is maglalatik, letter A. Ito yung ginagawa nyo nung elementary. Yung demo. Tan, 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 tan. <laughs> Memorize ko ko yan. Thank you. Okay, check. Okay, check. Okay, Prof. Ben. Hey, ito ay kung talagang nakinig kayo at binasa niyo ang No Limit Tang here ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Uh, Dr. Jose Rizal was observant of his environment even on the fish of Laguna de Bay. Okay? Which fish was not listed by Rizal in the No Limit Tang here? A. Bia B. Ayungin C. Plapla D. Banak and E. Buwan Buwan Eh, wala nakasagot. So lahat ng nilista ni Dr. Rizal ay nandoon sa Laguna Lake na native. The right answer is C. Si Plapla. Ito ay tilapia which was only introduced after World War II. Thank you. Wala pa na PPI 100 sa inyo. Wala pa. Okay. Ross Neal. Nagutom ako sa tanong. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Ito yung susunod na tanong, Southeast Asian History. Ano ang pinakalaganap na reliyon sa pangkapuloang Timog Silangang Asia o island or slash maritime Southeast Asia? A. Animismo B. Budhismo C. Hinduismo D. Islam E. Christianismo Ansel D. Islam Bahagi ng island Southeast Asia ang mga bansang Indonesia, Malaysia at Brunei. Karamihan ng mga tao rito ay mga Muslim. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Islam, K-check. Thank you. Yeah. O, usapang bisdak. This marketplace is one of the busiest business areas in Davao City. It has witnessed numerous events such as the infamous bombing in the 80s, which has been emo memorialized in Joey Ayala's Ethno Rock song. What is the name of this marketplace in Davao City? Letter A, Bangkerohan. Letter B, Mitsayap. Letter C, Toril. Letter D, Mintal. Letter E, Aldevinco. Answer is Bangkerohan. Dagan, dagan, dagan. Yan, yan. Thank you so much. Okay. Prof. Ben, go ahead. Okay, this is about uh, related to what we experienced in the last three years. Okay? Uh, what was the first vaccine to be developed against a contagious disease? A. Smallpox. B. Typhoid. C. Tetanus. D. Rabies and E. COVID-19 Ansel E. COVID-19 <laughs> That's not, mali, that's not the right answer Anyone can steal The answer is A. Smallpox It was Dr. Edward Jenner who first developed it in, in the 1700s Okay. So we're now off to our last set of questions for this round. Prof. Neil, go ahead. Panghuling tanong, world history ulit. Ano ang pangkat ng mga Muslim na nagpakilala ng sultanato bilang isang sistemang politikal? A. Arabo B. Persiano C. Ottoman B. Seljuk E. Romano Ansel, si Ottoman. Balik. Okay, yung sagot ni Ansel, sila ang nanghiram mula sa mga Seljo para simulan yung tradisyon ng Sultanato. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Seljo. Prof. Blessy, go ahead. Okay. Usapang... OOTD. <laughs> okay. Who was this national artist for fashion design who introduced the use of, of the zipper 
and the iconic butterfly sleeves for the terno. Letter A, Ray Valera. Letter B, Ramon Valera. Letter C, Michael Sandiego. Letter D, Benny Chan. Letter E, Pitoy Moren. The correct answer is letter B, Ramon Valera. Okay, last question from Prof. Ben. Okay, uh, Philippine biodiversity question. Okay, The Philippine eagle is a member of the blank eagle subfamily. A. Harpy B. Snake C. Booted D. Sea Eagle and E. Imperial Eagle Ansel B. Imperial Eagle uh, Mali, that's not correct Ayan B. Snake B. Snake Ah, you got it right! Okay, that's the right answer <laughs> uh, <laughs> The Philippine eagle is closely related to eagles that eat snakes, and these eagles are quite small. The Philippine eagle is the big, biggest, so K-Check! Hey, thank you so much, and that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. And congratulations to Yeshua, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 130 points. Congratulations! You. Here you go. So we'll see Yeshua again tomorrow when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. And of course, thank you to Ain, to Ansel, and to Ayan for participating. And of course, to our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Glessy, and Professor Ben. Once again, I am Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another Day Check.